TMG Nation, what is going on? Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel bringing you guys yet another episode of the Guerreros Azteca podcast, a podcast where we talk about the Liga MX and everything related to the football mexicano, right? So today we're really going to cover the Liguilla MX, the game we live, the great game we live last night between Monterrey and America, semifinals of the Liga MX. And I'm also going to cover. Um, your questions, your topics that you guys left in the video I posted yesterday, you know, letting you guys know that I was actually going to make this podcast happen today, Thursday, May 16th of 2013. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. There's a lot, man. You guys left a lot. There's like over 12 questions and topics and stuff that you guys would like to hear my opinions on. So uh, I'll try to cover the most that I can, at least the most relevant ones. I already saw some good questions that I definitely do want to cover. So um, yeah, man, let, let's get right into it. First, man, I, I'm going to give you guys, you you bros for, in this video, in the Guerreros Azteca podcast, um, you guys, I'm going to give you guys a little tiny sneak peek, I guess, uh, if you could call it that, of what could you what you could expect, you know, this weekend for The Dream Begins, for the my FIFA 13 My Player Series, episodes 37 and 38, they're going to be epic, man, they're going to be pretty, pretty good. Episode 37, it's the quarterfinals. You, I'm not going to tell you the rival yet, but some of you bros might be able to figure out who the rival is. By the way, the, the season ended and what position in the in the league table we have. America, my team in, in, you know, in, the, in that uh, series. And episode, so that's the quarterfinals. And I'm not telling you if we advance or not to the semifinals. We might not advance. But episode 38 is going to be absolutely epic, man. I was editing it last night. I slept till like 2 in the morning just editing it. I still have to add commentary to it. It's a long process, man. I spent like three hours editing episode 38. It's it's a high effort video, man. A high effort video to produce some of those, some of those, um, the Dream Began episodes. And yeah, man. So make sure you mark your calendars. You show up to those, to those uh, videos, to the channel on, on the weekend to watch episodes 37 and 38. Cause I worked my ass off in those episodes and I really, really, really think you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's get to the, to, to what we're here to talk about, right? The Liga MX, the Liguilla MX. Man, what a game. Like I said, what a game we lived last night between Monterrey and America in, in Monterrey, right? In El Estadio Tecnológico de Monterrey. So I thought America played a great game, and I, I really, really liked how they came out to win the game. They came out, and they didn't come to wait on Monterrey to, to attack since Monterrey was the home team. No, America went and proposed the game. They, they went to look for goals because with this new rule that we have where the there's like this away goal rule, whatever they call it, in the Liguilla, this new rule, uh, the, the, the visitor's goal is very, very important. It carries a lot of weight. So America had to. America had it in their heads that yo, we gotta go look for a goal. You know, a visitor is this away goal, right? That that is very you know, it, it's in it's in topic now. Everyone's talking about that because it's it's it carries a lot of weight now. The the away goal rule. So America went and proposed the game, got that goal. I thought they played a great game. The first half was completely dominated by America, completely one hundred percent dominated by America. Yet they went down in the scoreboards. 1-0 with a great goal by Chupete Suazo from with a free kick. Um, but America had over like 10 chances. They had they they deserved to win the game. But gentlemen, we've said this before. This isn't about deserving it. Football is not about deserving. It's about who scores the most goals. That's who wins. And that's what matters at the end of the day, right? Obviously. So uh, America deserved to win, but that's not enough, man. That's not enough. They 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 needed to put more goals in and, and they had a numerous numerous as i meant to say numerous amount of n amounts of chances and they they weren't able to to make that uh obvious you know in the scoreboards they they tied the two to two great game by chucho benitez he's in a great moment right now and uh you know i i thought america controlled completely dominated the first half this and the majority of the second half as well uh but when um uh, Vucetich, uh, Monterrey's manager, put in Neri Cardoso. It, things got a little bit more balanced, but America still had a lot more chances. Monterrey had like four clear chances, and they, they put in two. So that tells you the quality of strikers and the quality of team that Monterrey is. So two to two, we're all tied up. Nothing is defined yet. Um, we're going to see what happens uh, this Saturday in the Azteca at 5 p.m. Central time, I believe. 
So um, that's going to be, I'm, I'm psyched, man. I'm an America fan, as you guys know, most of you guys know. But, um, you know, Monterrey is, is a hell of a team. And I, I'm sure I'm sure this, this thing isn't defined, man. We're going to see a great game, and it's going to come down to the wire in the Azteca. That's what I'm expecting because Monterrey, they have a great manager. They have players like Aldo Eneris, Chupete Suazo. Chelito Elgado is actually injured. I, I saw that today. He actually didn't play last night because he's injured. And now I saw it this morning that, it's been extended to 10 to 15 days. So from this, I'm taking that he's not going to play in in the in the uh, other game, in the second game versus America in the Azteca. Uh, that, that's, that's bad news for Monterrey. He's a great player, Chelito Elgado, but they have other players to, to take his spot. I mean, they have a great, great team overall. So we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens with that game tonight. We have the Santos versus Cruz Azul, La Máquina. I know I have some of you bros who are Cruz Azul fans. Oh, man. I don't know if I have any Santos fans, but good luck to you, bros, man. Well, I'm expecting a great game, and this is what the Liga is all about. Seeing great games, high-intensity games, well, a lot of goals, teams going to win, and that that's... Uh, excuse me. That's what I'm That's what I'm uh, expecting to see tonight. Um, Oribe Peralta is not going to be in, and Pavone is actually injured. That's Cruz Azul striker. He's actually injured. He said if he doesn't feel 100%, he's not going to risk it because obviously his his injury he has something with the, the a muscle under his knee I think something like that so um yeah it, those that's very very delicate your knee um and if he doesn't feel 100% I, I do agree he shouldn't risk it he should just stay out and and you know they have they have a great a backup striker like Chuleta Orozco which El Chuletito Orozco which he's, he's a great striker um he's not a a a rookie or he's not a a noob uh, that's a horrible football term a noob uh, a novato that's what i was trying to say but i don't know how to say it in uh in in english but either way man i think i'm expecting a great game tonight and uh let, let me get to some of your questions before i ramble on for 30 minutes and before I, I i don't even cover any of your questions let me get to some of your questions so um fifa sports mexico he asks uh do you think chucho is leaving america or staying and who do you think will get promoted to the Liga MX, Nessa or La Piedad? Well, Nessa actually won the first game in La Piedad. I didn't see that game. I saw the highlights. But, man, horrible. The stadium, the, the way the people behaved in that game, La Piedad versus Nessa, the first game. Uh, Nessa won by, by a score of 1-0. But the people were just throwing cups into the into the the field, the pitch, it was, it was just like a, a bunch of trash everywhere. And the, I mean, what, what, what's going on there, man? I, that was, that was, that's embarrassing. That's terrible. But I think I'll answer your second question first. I think Nessa is the one who's going to get promoted. I mean, they're already winning one nil and they're going to close that home. So I think Nessa rightfully so is going to be the ones to, to get promoted to the Liga MX. Um, Tough, tough luck for La Piedad, but I, 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 nothing's defined yet. They still got to play a second game, so I might be wrong. But let me answer your first question now. So do you think Chucho is leaving America or staying? Well, I think it's going to be very, very difficult for America to keep Chucho Benitez. I think it's going to be very, very difficult for them to keep a player like Benitez. It, um, there were already there was rumors that um, Atletico de Madrid, who's playing the for the Copa del Rey versus uh, Real Madrid, this Friday, I believe, uh, there was rumors that Atletico de Madrid wanted uh, Chucho Benitez next year because Falcao. I don't think they're going to be able to keep Falcao either. Falcao is going to go to some higher, some other, you know, bigger club, and Chucho would replace him. But that's just a rumor. Uh, but Chucho, uh, I, I think he's going to. He, I don't think America is going to be able to keep him. I would obviously, as an America fan, I would love to keep a striker like Benitez, but I think that's going to be very, very difficult and. Um, you know, he's last night he showed it. He scores two goals. He has four goals in the Liguilla, two versus Pumas, two versus Monterrey last night. He's playing at another level. Last night he didn't look like he belonged in the Liga MX. He looked like he belonged in the in a league like the, the Premier League or I mean I might be exaggerating, but he is at another level right now and wow man. Wow. But he's not super young either. He's not old either, but he's not a youngster, so uh he's gotta think about the those things and um i don't know if chucho is is if he goes i don't know if he's gonna go to a big team because america's playing him paying him really well i think america's paying him around three million dollars a year so 
I believe that that's what they're paying him. That's the last time that's last last time I heard. I think they were paying him around three million a year. Um, I might be wrong, but they're they're paying him up there. He's one of the be best paid in the Liga MX, and he's not gonna win that type of money. That's what I was hearing this morning. If he leaves to a a team, let's say in England, let's say in the Premier League, he's gonna go to a smaller team there in the Premier. And they're not going to be able to pay him what America's paying him right now. So, yeah, he's got a bunch of stuff to consider. But let me want, move on to your next one, to the next question. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Klaus D, he says, hey, bro, I got a question. What do you think about uh, the aggre aggregate uh, away goal rule in, in place for the Liguilla? If you can talk about your opinion and where you stand on the ruling, is it fair? Let us know. Um, so, yeah, I kind of talk about this, this away goal rule. Um, what's my opinion on it? Well, first off, uh, is it fair? Let me answer that question. Is it fair? I think it is fair. I think the, the better question would be, is it ideal? Because fair, it is fair. You know, everyone knows about this rule already. Uh, every, it applies to every single team. So I guess it is fair, but is it ideal? Nah, I, don't, I don't think so. Not so much. And this is why. Well, you heard Tuca Ferretti, Tigres, the Tigres coach, the Tigres manager, Tigres is out of the Liga, you know, Monterrey knocked them out. Um, they were super leaders. They were number one in the Liga MX. And this away goal rule really didn't benefit them, you know. Although they didn't get knocked out of the Liga by this, this rule, they they got, they got lost because they went down in the scoreboard 2-1 to one in the overall score, right? In the global, whatever. So, but Tuca Ferretti, he was saying in the press conference after that game, he was saying, there's really no benefit to being number one in the league, to being the super leader, because this away goal rule, you know, it it's over that. It takes over that. You know, before this, the the away goal didn't it didn't carry that much weight, and now it's like every team has to at least one away goal, and that gives you a fighting chance. That gives you a big chance to win. So um, this away goal rule. Uh, I don't think it's ideal because he's right. It doesn't really, there's really not much benefit to uh, being, I'm sorry, I have to breathe through my mouth and because and, my nose is all stuffed up um, and I have to continue to talk so I have to pa make pauses sometimes. But um, there's really not much of, of a benefit to to being first, second, or in the top spots of the table. There, there really isn't because this away goal rule just, is is carries more weight than that in in this new Ligia rule whatever so that's that's really my opinion it's not ideal i do see what tuca ferretti meant when that tigres um press conference he gave after that game uh is it fair i guess it is because everyone it applies to everyone everyone knows about it but it's not really ideal uh we'll see if they change it later i mean well i don't know i don't know what to feel about it right now uh, well, I do. I do know. I I, th I don't think it's ideal, but we'll, we'll we'll see what happens, man. We'll see if if they change it. Uh, if enough teams complain, by the looks of it, not a lot of people are liking this new rule. So, um, George or Jorge Casillas says, "What is your dream lineup for Mexico in the FIFA World Cup 2014 next year?" So, my dream lineup. Well, I I don't know. I, I, huh? How do I answer that? Well, uh, I guess I will. The defense would stay the same, you know, how it is right now with two exemptions. First one, I would, I think I would put Ochoa as a starting a goalkeeper for Mexico. Um, you know, even if, if Corona is there, I think both keepers are guaranteed. Both are great. Both are great goalkeepers, you know, but I'm an America fan. Ochoa played, you know, he was born in America. I'm using air quotes here, born. Um so I would like to see Ochoa. I think he's a great, great goalkeeper. Same thing with Corona, man. Either one that's there, like if Corona is there, then I feel completely safe as well. But I think it's his. it was his moment last, the last World Cup in 2010. But, you know, the manager, Javier Aguirre, didn't really know too much about, about the, the fútbol mexicano in, in, that, in that time. You know, he, was, he had been out of the loop, so he just went with what he knew, which was Conejo Perez. And that's, they kind of took this away from Ochoa. But, I mean, you know, that's the way things are. So, I, I would put Ochoa, but I'm f completely fine with Corona as well. And instead of Torres Nilo, I think I would put Jerry Flores, the, the Cruz Azul um, defender. The Cruz Azul, what do you call it in English? I don't really know. Lateral? I don't know how you say it. 
but I would put Jerry Flores. I think he's great. He's a great uh, player. He also goes really, really well with his head. His header game is really, really good. So um, I would put Jerry Flores there instead of Torres Nilo, I think. And uh, the front, man, I would bring in Carlos Vela, you know, to, to, but I don't, I don't know my dream lineup. I think Mexico right now, they have a good, good, you know, good team, but my lineup, I don't know. I, I think I need a little bit more time to, to talk about it. As it gets closer, as we watch them in the Confederations Cup, then I, I guess I can answer your question. But right now, you know, the way things are, I, I don't really know my dream lineup. So I guess I'll get back to you on that sometime in the future. I'm pretty sure we'll cover this topic again. Um, so let, let me see. Let, I'm looking for other ones. I'm looking for other ones. Uh, Leo Gallego says, are you surprised that Monterrey is in the semifinal? No, not at all, man. Not at all. I mean, I guess it might be a bit surprising for some people. Because Monterrey was ninth place. The only reason they're in the in the Liga in the first place was because Querétaro, which was eighth, they're the ones who are being relegated, right? So um, Monterrey took their spot spot as the ninth place, and they're look at them. They're in the semifinal. You know, they they got rid of the super leader of Tigres. And no, but surprise, nah, man. I was actually surprised that Monterrey was was not going to be in the league yet. You know, I thought I was like, whoa, man, what was going on? But I mean, they they won the Concacaf Champions. They won that, and uh, you know it, they have a great team, and so it was. It would it would have been surprising if Monterrey was not. I don't know if the semifinal, but was not even the league. Yeah, that would have been surprising. But no, I'm not surprised that I'm not surprised that they're in the semifinal. They're they're a great team, and they're a great team. So dark eyed Mexican says, "Have you ever liked Club Chivas? And do you know any recent or ex Chivas players that you find very good or that have impressed you?" Well. Um, if I've ever liked Chivas, um, I liked is not the right word for it. No, I've never liked Chivas because I grew up since a little, little kid. I grew up being, you know, an America fan, Americanista since I was as long as I can remember. I could never, I can't remember going for another team. I never went for another team, but America, I still don't go for any other team, not even anywhere else in the world. I don't go for Barcelona, nothing like that. I go for America and that's it. And well, El Tri, Mexico, obviously, but. I mean, that's stupid to even clarify that. But anyways, Chivas, nah, man, I not liked. I respect them as as a important, as a as a big club in, in Mexico. One of the for big, you know, one of the two biggest clubs in Mexico. America being the biggest one, obviously. I mean, we all know that. <laughs> nah, man, that's just an opinion. You know that you can debate that. But no, nah, I like Chivas. Nah, respected them. Yes, I, you know, we respect them. Uh, you know, do I get a kick that they're not in the Liguilla? Yeah, but I would like to see Chivas in the Liguilla. I would like to see them in, you know, in these, I guess, playoffs of the Liga, Liga MX because it, it adds something, an extra element to the table having them there. But, um, you know, they, they need to get their, their stuff together and, you know, good luck to them in the future. But any ex-Chivas players that you find very good or that have impressed you, any recent or well, Marco Fabian obviously is is a very good player, but he needs to get his head in the right place, man. Enough with the parties, enough with that. Just man, you you have tremendous talent. Chaton Enriquez um, is another great player. Chicharito Hernandez, I mean, come on, he he scored last time when when the when what's called Man U, you know, they, they gave them their, their trophy and stuff like that. I got who versus what team was, it? I don't, I can't remember. Chicharito Hernandez is also a very, very good player. Massa Rodriguez, who is now with, with America is also, you know, a, a, a good player. So yeah, obviously I have some Chivas players that, that I respect. And I, I think they are very good and uh, yeah, they, they impress me. So let's move on to the next one. So, let me look for one. Let me look for one. Uh, Manny Martinez, he says, two questions. Who will win against, who will win from Cruz Azul versus Santos? And uh, some question about Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me get to your first one. Cruz Azul versus Santos. Let me give you a little, see what my, my opinion, see what I think about this. Well, who will win? Tonight, I think Santos wins by a very, uh, by one goal around there. It's not going to be, it's going to be a close game. But if I'd have to bet on someone, but yet again, Santos doesn't have Oribe Peralta. They're not going to have him. He's injured. So, and Chato Rodriguez, I think. So, man, I, I don't know now. I don't know. I, I I still say with Santos. Santos is at home. I'm not saying, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not saying who's winning, who's advancing to the finals from them too. I'm just saying tonight, 
I, 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 if I have to bet for someone, I'd say Santos by very little, but I could be wrong, man. I, I don't know. I don't really know. He says, do you think the trade is true about Cristiano Ronaldo leaving Madrid and going back to Manchester United? I don't know, man. I heard that too. Uh, it's because they ha they're having problems with Mourinho. Mourinho is leaving for sure. Mourinho is leaving Real Madrid. Uh, I've heard also this rumor that, that Cristiano is leaving Real Madrid. So I'd say yes, man. I think I think Ronaldo is going to leave Real Madrid. I don't know about, about going back to Manchester United, but uh, it, that would be the ideal thing, right? Going back to, to his home well that's where that's where he won the most things i guess so um yeah well let me move on to another one let me see because there's a lot of them what do you think of of leon's uh, players in la selección jonathan rivera he asks that so what do i think about leon's players great uh, they're they're good um th there's also another question around here raul sanchez he says what do i think about uh, chapo sanchez about nacho gonzalez gulit peña if they're they're fit for for el tri and uh yeah yeah i think the last time that that they played i think they called luis montes right and they called gulit peña peña they've already been calling him i think peña is a great player i see i see gulit peña i see him in, in a near future he's a young player in the near future or in the future i see him playing in europe i think he's he has the qualities he has a yeah he, he's i see him playing in europe for for a team over there but uh yeah obviously they they are they are fit to be in el tri um nacho nacho gonzalez he's a you know tall strong center back um he, he, they're rumored uh at least these three players peña gonzalez and montes the rumored like at least two of them to go to chivas i think it was it was peña and montes but i had also heard of gonzalez nacho gonzalez going to chivas uh so yeah, I, obviously that they're, they're you know I, Gonzalez Nacho Gonzalez has never been in El Tri I believe not not that I know of but uh, uh Montes I don't has he played I think he's played very little and Gulit Peña he's played some minutes with with Mexico so I think they're great I think they're great players especially especially Gulit Peña I really really liked that player man so let me move on to the next one uh let me see Josh thirteen beats says uh two questions. Do you think Cruz Azul is good enough to win La Liguilla, I think, or La Liga? And uh, do you think the champs are going to do good in La Liga MX? Huh. I don't get your second question. I don't really understand it. But yeah, Cruz Azul is good enough, man. Cruz Azul has the players. Chaco Jimenez, Teofilo Gutierrez, Pablo Barrera, Pavone, uh, what, Bertolo. You know, they, they have great players in, in the offense. And well, they have a, good, a solid defense, too. They have Corona as their goalkeeper. To win the Liga MX, they have they have enough football. After they won the Copa MX, man, oh man, did that serve them well as motivation? And they're on a winning streak. Well, they lost the last game versus um versus Monarcas Morelia, but they still advanced to semifinals, and we'll see how they perform tonight. But yeah, they're good enough. Obviously, they 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 are good enough. Um, I didn't really understand your second question. He says, "Do you think the champs are going to do good in the Liga MX?" Um, I don't. I don't know what you mean by that that much. So, um, yeah, Cruz Azul, I do think they're good enough. But so is the rest of the three other teams. You know, Santos is good enough. Cruz Azul is good enough. America is good enough. And and uh, Monterrey is good enough. That's why they're in the semifinals. So, um, yeah. Do you think uh, Bernardo Sillero, he says, uh, do you think that America will win the Liga? Oh, man. So, do I think they'll win the Liga? I think they'll advance to the finals. I'm honestly, I do think they'll advance to the finals. I guess I can answer your question. You know, as an America fan, yes, I have faith in my team that America could win the Liga. But I don't, I don't just want to say, yes, America. Well, I guess that's what you're asking. Do you think America can win the Liga? Yeah, they can. But just like I said, so can Cruz Azul, so can Santos. So, I don't know. I do have faith and I do think this is America's year. But <laughs> there's great teams. There's great teams. It's still left in there. So uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me look for another one. Ernesto Ordaz, 48, says, I go for Pumas. Uh, please shout me out. But honestly, I think America will win versus... Uh, honestly, I think it will be America versus Cruz Azul in the final. What do you think? So uh, America versus Cruz Azul, there's a huge possibility, man. There's a huge possibility that that's going to be the final of the Liga MX this year. Uh, because I do, although I said Santos might win tonight, I think Santos will win tonight. I think Cruz Azul will advance to the final, man. I do I want Cruz Azul to advance to the final? Uh, they're they're America's rival. There's a classical between them, but 
I, I kind of feel for the Cruz Azul fans, man. I mean, there, it's it's like what sixteen years without a without a Liga title. So uh, I'm not gonna go for any team if America gets knocked out. But you know, I'd be happy for Cruz Azul fans, I guess. So um, yeah, I can I yeah there there is a huge possibility that America versus Cruz Azul could be the final, and what a final would that be? That would be amazing. So um, yeah, there's a huge possibility. But Santos and Monterrey. You, you can't sleep on those teams, man. You can't sleep on those teams. They're great teams. So, yeah. Um, Messi 10 uh, S- <laughs> Messi ten STFU. Ho, that's, that's his username. Uh, it says, uh, who is your favorite player and why? Uh, yeah, wait. Oh, yeah. Who is your favorite player and why? And who is your favorite team from Europe? My favorite soccer player. That's what he says. My favorite player uh fudge man i i don't know if i'm following one player right now right now my favorite player honestly right now is diego reyes the 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 center back for america i don't I, right now that's my favorite player i know it's weird right but we have a lot in common diego and i we're, we're both like the same height and we both weigh around the same thing so uh um yeah i think he's a little bit tiny bit taller than me but uh yeah diego reyes and not only because of that obviously but you know he's a great player man he's i mean he's already going to europe he's already going to porto this this uh, fall so i mean who's my favorite team in europe like i said i don't go for anyone other than america but if i'd had to choose my favorite team i guess i'd really really like the way barcelona played you know no surprise there but now you know there there's um i, I don't know i don't have to say they're they're not the same team as before, but there has been a decline in their football. They they're not as you know bright as they used to be in a, you know the past couple of years that we're we're used to Barcelona completely dominating everyone, and now it's you know that looks like that's changing. You know Bayern Munich and and Borussia are, are you know the fr- the German I was gonna say French the German teams are are the super power, powers now. So. Um, yeah, my favorite soccer player right now is Diego Reyes and my favorite team from Europe, I guess I'd have to say Barcelona, but eh, I don't know. I don't really go for anyone else. I just love watching good football. Let me see if uh, uh, what players from the Liga MX uh, do you will go to Europe next season? Uh, a rotten banana 96 asks this. I think I had asked your question in a previous podcast. Um, hold on. Let me take a little sip of my my drink real quick. Oh, man, I needed that. I needed that. So. Um, I think there, there's a good possibility that uh, Raul Jimenez in the near future, Raul Jimenez, the, the America striker, will go to, to Europe. Uh, I said it a little bit earlier to, in this podcast. Gulit Peña, I see him as a, a European player. But, I, oh, you're asking next season. Wow, next season? I, I haven't heard of much, man. I haven't heard of many Mexican players or players from the Liga MX um, going to to Europe next season. I guess Chucho Benitez. I mean, if he leaves America, I'm pretty sure he's going to Europe. I don't think he'd go to another team here in, in the Americas. But uh, if he leaves America, I think he's going to Europe. So I guess Chucho Benitez, because you're not asking Mexican players, you're asking Liga MX players. So uh, Chucho Benitez. Let me see. Let me let me, let me me think again. I don't know, man. I, I don't know how to answer your questions because right now, you know how the league is still going on there there's hasn't been much talk about this but i don't know i think hector hector herrera the the pachuca man i think he's he's already pretty much confirmed to go to porto along with diego reyes from america so i i uh, I, I don't know i don't know i guess i'll have to get back uh back to you on that but yeah bros it looks like we we've covered all of them we've covered all the questions we had so it was a long, very, very long video, but you know, thank you guys, man. If you watch the entire thing, if you watch it in parts, I, it's completely fine. I, I thank you guys for it. If you stuck around till the end, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We went on for a while, but I, I it looks like I covered every single question. If I missed one, I'm really, really sorry. I'm terribly sorry, and I apologize. But uh, yeah, enjoy your games tonight. Santos versus Cruz Azul. I can't remember the exact time. I think it's at nine. 9 or 8 central time i can't remember 9 9 or 8 p.m central time some some time like that but um, enjoy your games man good luck to santos fans good luck to cruz azul fans i, I just want to watch a very very good game thank you guys for leaving your questions thank you guys for for leaving a like rating if you did i really 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 appreciate it and uh, i'll see you guys in another guerreros azteca podcast thank you guys for watching peace